In this video, we'll talk about Lambert-Eaton syndrome. And this is a high yield video for USMLE step one. Lambert-Eaton syndrome is a rare autoimmune disorder characterized by muscle weakness and fatigue. Common symptoms include proximal muscle weakness, autonomic dysfunction, and decreased reflexes. In Lambert-Eaton syndrome, immune system mistakenly attacks the voltage-gated calcium channel in the presynaptic terminal. Here you can see in the presynaptic terminal there are VGCCs or voltage-gated calcium channels. They allow calcium to enter the presynaptic terminal and that is crucial for neurotransmitter release. And that aspect is abrogated in the neuromuscular junction. This results in lesser neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine release from the presynaptic terminal, which ultimately lead to a decrease in muscle contraction eventually might lead to muscle paralysis. So overall, acetylcholine release in the synaptic cleft is decreased in Lambert-Eaton syndrome. It is often associated with patients with small cell lung cancer and it's a proximal muscle weakness which improves with repeated muscle exercise. In this video, we'll talk about the pathology, genetics, diagnosis, and eventually the treatment options for Lambert-Eaton syndrome. Let's talk about the clinical presentation first. Typically, Lambert-Eaton syndrome is uh, presented by the proximal muscle weakness and fatigue. So the weakness is generally confined to the lower extremities and more visible in the lower extremities. So there are limb related problem. A normal individual can cause this kind of movement and the range of motion is pretty nice. But if you think about a Lambert-Eaton syndrome patient, this kind of range of motion is not possible to make due to a proximal muscle weakness. Other symptoms include autonomic dysfunction and hyporeflexia. That means the reflexes become weak. Let's talk about the pathophysiology of Lambert-Eaton syndrome. In order to understand, we have to understand the uh, neuromuscular junction because it's a disease of neuromuscular junction. In the neuromuscular junction, in the presynaptic terminal, there are calcium channels and these are voltage-gated calcium channels. The voltage-gated calcium channels allow calcium to come in and acetylcholine to be released in the synaptic cleft. There are often uh, B cells or plasma cells which secrete antibody against these voltage-gated calcium channel, which lead to less calcium influx in the presynaptic terminal. If the calcium influx is less, less vesicles would be released and there would be eventually less uh, neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft. Just let me remind you, in myasthenia gravis, the things are different. The postsynaptic acetylcholine receptor was affected in this case and the antibodies are against postsynaptic acetylcholine receptor. So in Lambert-Eaton syn syndrome, the presynapse is affected, and in the myasthenia gravis, the postsynapse, so the muscle is directly affected. Let's talk about the diagnosis of Lambert-Eaton syndrome. It can be diagnosed with the help of electromyography. In Lambert-Eaton syndrome, the patient's uh, electromyogram shows a characteristic decremental response when repetitive stimulus is provided. And this, is, this can be uh, visualized with the help of electromyography. Other than electromyography, there could be detection of anti-VGCC autoantibodies in the patient's serum. And that can be done via ELISA-based assays. Now, what is the biggest difference between the Lambert-Eaton syndrome and myasthenia gravis? Both are neuromuscular junction disease. But in case of Lambert-Eaton syndrome, the attack is presynaptic means the presynaptic voltage-gated calcium channels are attacked. Whereas in myasthenia gravis, the postsynaptic acetylcholine receptors are attacked. Now, the key differential is with, uh, with kind of exercise, the overall performance would be better in case of Lambert-Eaton syndrome. But in case of myasthenia gravis, there is no improvement and things even may go worsen. So get more notes and flashcards in my channel. You can visit Instagram or Facebook for more notes. See you in next video. You can support us using Super Thanks.